So, see, within the organization, you have two types of customers. You have your external customer and you have internal customers. And every single, so organizations are always built, it's almost like a pyramid. You have, uh, you have certain folks who are taking care of your external customer, but these guys cannot take care of your external customer. If everybody below them or everybody, all other teams are not supporting these guys, right? So what I meant to say by ROI, ROI could be subjective based on who is, who, who is working on it. So for a, for a client facing person, the return on investment for the customer is really increase in returns. But then for delivery person, the ROI needs to be efficient delivery and the timeline. And for customer success person, the ROI is high NPS scores and customer service scores, right? But it is something which I can measure. I can't measure things which, yeah, you know, customer happy, delight is great, but if customer is delighted, but they don't even fill out the survey, then it just shows me it's not, it's not, they are not delighted. Or if we have a technology which is great, but it's not getting deployed, or it's not really working the way it should be, there is a problem, right? So really ROI is, could be subjective, but you have to take every position, every department, and really outline how will we measure the impact. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I like how you suggested there's that, that, that clear line of, um, you know, activities through to, to goals and then obviously, you know, the impact as well and, and, and having them measurable, I think is a really important point. Uh, you also talked about, um, you know, the ability to test new trends and uh, be flexible and, and move fast. Um, where, where does that fit in? You know, what we did in Milestone is we created a separate R&D team. And if you think of it, and I'm happy to send you a slide, but if you think of it, we created a full layer. We have an R&D team where we have every single discipline. And especially we put in people who are very creative. They really enjoy the fact of, uh, they enjoy the part of testing constantly. Then we have a product team. And then we created a center of excellence team where we had all the subject matter experts about every single vertical. And then we have a customer facing team. So, so R&D testing, whenever there is customer problem or there is a new trend, uh, subject matter experts will outline that. They will, talk, they will talk to R&D team and they'll talk to the product team to make sure that when they are solving that problem for customer, they are involving the experts, right? So, and every single team has very different skill set which is needed. If you, let's say, you know, again, I don't know you, but if you are a creative thinker and if you love problem solving problem and you love staying ahead, but you don't really want to be in a very disciplined structure, uh, then you are a right candidate possibly in R&D team because that's what inspires you, right? That's why I said everything starts with people first. What, what do you really enjoy doing? And, and or if you are a person who wants to build pro products and you know, want to do a lot of methodical thinking and things like that, then you would fit in really well based on your experience in the product. 